Okay, now I'm recording. Um, this is the Package Manager's Weekly Sync, uh, certainly a bit late um, for uh, November 12th. Um, uh, first up, IPNS. Uh, yeah, so uh, short version, uh, pushed some pub sub changes last week. They now need to bubble up through various layers to make them into IPFS. Uh, there's a couple PRs of the notes. Um, one is for the pub sub value store or the P2P pub sub router, uh, has some internal, has some breaking API changes. Um, shouldn't be any problems for anyone. They have been on discussed at P2P.io for a while and no one has, has uh, raised any issues. Um, and, uh, figuring out how to bubble things into go IPFS and having some minor issues with Sharnas tests that having some extra eyes would help with, and then doing uh, some test ground tests for uh, IPNS. That's all for me. Okay, thank you. Uh, Dirk. Yeah, so uh, updates on BitSwap. <clears throat> uh, this week I implemented a test ground test, which uh, allows us to simulate a multiple leech, multiple seed scenario. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, and then just doing, working through code reviews for the concept. Okay. Uh, Unix 1.5, still discussing the spec. Um, Uh, sorry, notifications. Uh, Mount, uh, Dominic um, uh, left us on last Monday. Um, so this is currently on pause. Uh, he may pick up or do it on the side uh, in the future, but not for the moment. Um, uh, IPFS ad performance. Uh, so specifically, so Dominic moved to uh, a PL community. Um. So, all right, uh, there's some consensus on supporting asynchronous data stores. So, huzzah. Um, this means that we'll be able to actually utilize, uh, like, you know, Badger's asynchronous write capability uh, if we want to, and then manually decide when, we're, when we want to sync. Uh, we can, for people who already have uh, Badger, like IPFS Badger going, uh, they can just change a config, like an option in the config file, and this should, this should do it for them. Uh, we are assembling a list of the places that the data store is used, uh, so we can figure out in the switch from synchronous to asynchronous data stores uh, where we actually need to call the sync command. Uh, worth noting that we actually have a good deal of evidence that IPFS, even with adding no sync commands anywhere, uh, stuff is not the end of the world because Windows has been doing this for like since Badger started uh, and we have not had tremendous Windows problems, so. Uh, yes. Yeah, sort of. I mean, if it crashes, you have problems. Um, but yeah. Uh, so yeah. We have like a year of testing, so that's, that's kind of nice by accident. So and what, are, what, is, what do you think the timeline on this would be? I'm hoping to get this done before lab week, if possible, or at least have something ready before lab week. Uh, I mean, so again, the, the flipping the flag, you can just do now. Yeah, but I mean like, the, um, like auditing everything and then like the, making the necessary changes. So I, I, can, I can work on some auditing this week if we want to prioritize that, just a matter of what we want to prioritize. Yeah. I suspect nothing in libp2p cares if it ever makes it to disk. Mm -hmm. And so it's literally just IPFS ad is the only place we're going to have to flush anything yep. and pinning. I'd be yeah, able to add and pin. I'd like to get this out of the way as, far, as soon as possible because, like, I think it'll like take maybe a half an hour to just grab the code base, find everything, write it up. The painful part is actually just like writing it up. <laughs> um, uh, okay. But then once we do that, we can actually move forward on this. So. Yeah, I'm in. I'm okay prioritizing this over the IPNS stuff if that's what we want to do. Thank you. Uh, data store performance. Uh, or sorry. Yeah. Uh, this is. At this point, basically, app performance, no, same thing. Uh, 
once we get the sync thing fixed, my plan is to switch to Azure. And that's the same as last week. OK. Blockers asks, uh, finalize OKRs. Oh, but that was, this is ancient. Uh, sorry. Uh, blockers asks. Questions? Parking lot. OK. Yeah. Um, I'm one, I don't have to, I'm not, I may be just focusing on ad performance stuff this week, but I, I, I need a little bit of guidance on the Sharness test because, okay. yeah. It's just not working. I, um, I got the Sharness test to run. I'm just like not 100% sure I understand why they're doing what they're doing. Because like my manual tests don't seem to be doing the same things. And like, I just want to make sure I'm not missing something obvious. I, so uh, this was the issue where like you're seeing an extra PRID in the list, the PRIDs. Um, yeah. It could be and, the discovery that's doing that. It could be that we introduced a bug in, in, um, uh, in the, the, uh, in PubSub. Um, it could also literally be like, did we accidentally upgrade the DHT when you did this? Because we upgraded the DHT, we added a bunch of auto bootstrapping code that could have also like introduced some time effect. Uh, that is possible, I guess. I don't know. I'll have to look more into it, but I, you can look into it later this week or next or whatever in a couple of weeks if we want to. Okay. Just whenever we're ready to like get this merged so we can be like IPNS stamped go. Okay. Um, then I will uh, take a look at that and try to help you with it. Other than that, I think we've managed to wrap up in 10 minutes despite starting really late. I'm sorry for that. I will post the link uh, to these notes in uh, the issue if you want to add asynchronous updates. Um, actually, before we move on, uh, Dirk, uh, you are heading out later today, right? Yes, in about okay. as was. Well. Okay, well, have fun. Internet got, or uh, I will cut that up meeting. See ya. Uh, question for, for Dirk. Uh, how has your experience been writing the test ground plans? Because I haven't, like, are you using full IPFS nodes or bit swap things? So my original plan was to use full IPFS nodes, but then I realized, uh, it's actually Raul pointed out, it's probably better to test bit swap directly just so we don't have, um, number one, it allows us to control the way that we request blocks. So rather than IPFS, which has kind of a fairly conservative prefetch mechanism, we can just like like push stuff through as fast as possible. So it's a better test of, of bit swap itself. Um, and number two, it just it's just one less, you know, it's sort of more isolated. So if there's any issues, we can isolate them to bits. Well. Uh, that was unfortunate. I was hoping you were going to do all the work for me of doing IPFS things and I could just copy paste and then switch which part of the core API I was using. Well, the oh, well. Done that, so you might be able to just use his, uh, I think it's called small, actually, maybe it's Jim, but anyway, I think it's called small bench. Okay. Might still be a PR. Okay, cool. Thanks. All right, guys. See you. See you all.